frying a little bacon. We're going to save that uh, bacon grease. This bacon's almost done. And I'm going to take some onion and fry it in the bacon grease. Actually, just kind of saute it a little bit. This is one of the best smells in all of cooking. Onion uh, frying or sauteing in bacon grease. I love it. Now, uh, add in, that's about two-thirds pounds of chicken that I've kind of cut up into chunks. I'm going to brown that. To this, I'm going to add a, a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then, uh, this is some homemade chili powder, but you can use whatever you like. Someday I'll show how to make your own chili powder from white chilies. I'm going to add a teaspoon of that. I'm going to add a uh, teaspoon of garlic salt. And a few dashes of just regular ground pepper. Not a whole lot. Really. Now I'm going to add back uh, that bacon that I fried. I've uh, crumbled it. I'm going to add in uh, one bunch of diced green onions here. This is going to be about 8 ounces of sour cream I'm adding. And this is a, a little 3 ounce block of uh, cream cheese I'm going to add. Don't forget to take the blue plastic off. And I'm just going to stir it up. And this is basically done cooking. You don't have to cook it long once it's at this stage. Just enough to combine all the cream cheese and everything. Now I'm going to add in a, oh, a little four ounce can of diced green chilies. And again, a two and a half ounce can of sliced uh, black olives. Stir it up and you're done with the filling. To uh, prepare my Dutch oven, I've uh, got a Dutch oven liner. Somebody gave these to me. I usually just use parchment paper, but and I'm just going to spray the inside of the oven just a little bit with uh, some spray oil. Uh, and then I'm going to put the Dutch oven liner in. So now I'm going to assemble my enchilada. Well, it's more of an enchilada lasagna or casserole than it is uh, anything else. And I've got a couple tortillas here, and I've just got a can of regular refried beans. And I'm going to spread some refried beans on this tortilla, like you would if you were going to put peanut butter on a piece of bread or something. And this, this uh, recipe for Dutch oven enchiladas actually came from a friend of mine uh, named Trigg. And uh, he was from the Pacific Northwest. And he was quite a adventurer and did all kinds of crazy things uh, outdoors and real outdoorsman. But uh, this was a recipe I got from him, um, and it's a old standby for campfire for us. Uh, you don't have to do this even in a Dutch oven. You can do it in any kind of a baking dish. So if you want to try it without. Um, going to the trouble of a Dutch oven you can. So I've got two uh, tortillas in the bottom there kind of overlapping a bit and I'm going to spoon some of this uh, chicken uh, filling in there about a third of it. Maybe, a, maybe I'll put uh, half of it in there instead and then uh, spread it out real well. And uh, on top of this filling, I'm going to put well, I'm going to put a little more in there. I think fill it out a little better. Put about half of our mixture in. I'm just going to make this a couple layers. And then I've got some uh, diced tomatoes. I'm going to put some diced tomatoes over the top of a handful or so. And then 
I've got a can of uh, enchilada sauce and I'm just going to drizzle some of this over. Then I'll build another layer identical to this one. Now the, the top layer I do just a little bit different. In, instead of using two tortillas, I'm just going to use one. We'll put this over. I'm just going to press down a little bit and compact the stuff underneath it. And I'm going to put the rest of my enchilada sauce on there. Kind of spread it around real well. Uh, and then I've got just two cups of cheddar cheese that I'm going to spread around. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want really, it doesn't matter. And uh, the idea with this top layer, and I'm going to put the rest of my tomatoes on there. The idea with this top layer, uh, Trigg said that he liked this top layer to cook kind of crispy uh, so that it'd be almost like a little pizza. And then underneath those other layers are kind of gooey and delicious. So you get kind of that contrast thing going. So you got crispy on top and gooey underneath. And that's all we need to do. Uh, now we just need to cook it. And I'll show you how to do that. Looks like our coals are done here. Um, it's time to cook this. Move this forward and set a few coals underneath here. As you can see, I've got a few under there, I don't know, count them if you want, pause it. Um, I'm going to set this on top. I'm going to put a whole bunch more on top. Okay, so looks good. I'm going to come back in uh, 10 minutes and check it just to make sure we don't have too much heat or whatever. Really the, the chicken and everything is cooked here. All we need to do is uh, just kind of heat it up and cook it a little bit so that things kind of gel together and combine and I want to see the top of this uh, crisp up a bit. Be back in 10 minutes. So it's been so it's been close to 10 minutes here. I'm gonna just look and see what we're what we're doing here. And we're cooking right along exactly as I would expect. So I'm gonna give this a turn just to even out the heat along here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the Dutch oven a little bit just to even out the heat on the bottom. And I'm gonna come back in 10 more minutes and check it.